right where you want to be on Saturday night at a major, sitting atop the leaderboard and looking at 18 holes to add number two. Yeah, um, you know, I've been saying all week, you know, it's, it's about jockeying for position and um, you know, just trying to go out there and play a good round. If, if I was two back right now or two ahead or whatever it may be, it really wouldn't change my attitude about the way I was playing or, or really what I was going to do tomorrow, if that makes sense. You know, I'm going to go out there and, and continue to try to put the ball in the fairway, knock it on the green, give myself some opportunities, hope that I uh, you know, continue to knock in some putts. But I'll, I promise you I'm going to go through that the same procession. I'm going to you know, just see the line, try to get it, get it rolling right down that line and, and, uh, and hit some good putts. So um, you know, I'm not really worried about leading or not leading. I'm, uh, I'm really thinking ahead of you know, just getting some rest tonight, getting a good dinner in me, relaxing, uh, maybe watching some football, and uh, waking up in the morning and getting ready, thinking about what I need to do to play a good round tomorrow. Well, at least you know you're not going to be taxed with the football game and lose a lot of energy. This is true. This is true. <laughs> so it's just, just the first preseason game. Talk about the day today because it was such a different day. Today really was a day where we say red numbers are really good at a major. Yeah, uh, obviously Saturday is a moving day. There were some guys that got off to a good start. I saw like Dustin Johnson and uh, I think Streels played a good round today. And then uh, Jonas Blix played very well. So saw some low rounds out there. Um, I think that's due to, uh, you know, the greens being still receptive. You, you, you know, you can be aggressive with some iron shots if you get it going. The problem on this golf course is that rough is so thick and so deep that uh, it can separate the field pretty quickly. If you start missing some fairways, it's not hard to make bogeys, you know, but if you can put the ball in the fairway and the greens are receptive, someone's going to find a way to shoot a good number. So uh, it was nice. I kind of mixed it up today. I think I had uh, uh, five birdies and three bogeys. Um, you know, anytime you go out there in a major championship and make five birdies in a day, it's, it's a pretty solid day. Hey, last thing, because I don't want you to miss the start of the game, which might mean you miss all of the game. <laughs> I DVR'd it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, it's not only about jockeying for position. It's about learning things in those first three tournament rounds that are going to be helpful on Sunday. Yeah. How comfortable are you with what you've learned in those first three days? And having a nice matchup with Duffner, which seems to be a low-key guy that yeah. you know, you're going to be comfortable with. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of energy from, from the two of us. We're not, uh, we're not the uh, fist-pumping, running around type of, type of personality, so it'll be pretty quiet. But uh, you know, I get along with Jason well, uh, looking forward to tomorrow. But as far as what I learned first, you know, the, the, it's been a different golf course each day. Round one and round three played similar. Um, I expect it to firm up a little bit tomorrow to get a little bit more difficult. Uh, but I, I think my rounds were all a little different. I jumped off to a real fast start in round one. You know, buried the first hole, three under on the front side, kind of got it rolling, got it to six under. Yesterday, a um, little the same thing. You know, I was one under, just kind of plotted along, one under, two under, three under, two under, just kind of hanging in there. Today was a little different round. You know, I, a couple over par early. Um, and was able to kind of turn around in the middle. So I've kind of had a little mix of all three rounds, and, and uh, you know, I think that's given me some confidence that, you know, no matter what the situation is, I feel pretty comfortable with it. Jimmy, as always, thanks for your time, man. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.